Hello world and welcome to another video. So this video is five regrets I made in college while studying computer science. So I was a computer science major at UCSD and I walked into college not knowing a drop of code. I didn't even know what computer science was or programming and I went through a lot of ups and downs <laughs> in college. But you know, at the end of the day, I made it to where I am today. So they're not really regrets, but I guess things I would have changed. The first thing I would change was definitely, I would not be afraid to touch code. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, what is this girl saying? But it's just because coding was so new to me that like, I would be afraid to just type in an idea that I had. And I know this is gonna sound so crazy to some people, but I even saw this when I was tutoring students and they would come and ask me for help during office hours and they would say, Oh, I think it might be this. Then I'll be like, okay, tell. And they'll be like, I don't know the syntax. Or they'll start going through their notes. I don't know how to play a variable. Like little things like that. I wish I would have just tried it, compiled it and learned from there. And I feel like the reason why I was scared to touch code was just because it was new and I didn't know that the way to learn code was through actually coding. <laughs> it's kind of like, um, I don't know, like if I had a problem and I had to code something, I would be like, okay, let me go look at a textbook, let me reread the lecture, and instead of just playing around in the console or playing around with the code, I would spend hours and hours and hours re-looking at lectures, rereading textbooks, when the best way to learn how to code is just to code. So yeah, so if I can go back in time, one thing I would definitely do is I would comment out a lot of code and see what happens. I would rearrange different things, change different numbers, and just um, play around with it. Now, another regret I had if I could go back in college and redo this, would be around applying for internships. So I had a lot of imposter syndrome. So people would say, oh, they're gonna apply for this internship, or oh, Maya, you should try this program. And I would say things like, I'm not ready. Or, I can't handle, you know, school assignments, and you want me to go try interning for this company? So for my, First and my second year, I let all of that, all of the imposter syndrome, um, people telling me that maybe I'm not cut out for this major because I was struggling in the beginning, I let all of that get to me, so I didn't apply for internships. But when I did get my first internship, um, my third year, it was such an incredible experience and I learned so much, I got to see how industry was like, and I really liked it. So if I could go back in time, I would definitely would have applied. So another regret I have is I would have started tutoring way earlier than I did. Like I actually tutored my last quarter at um, UCSD. And um, you know, just having to explain topics and concepts to another person, it like it really deepens your own understanding of different things like it's really amazing even now like in industry when i think i have mastered something or i think i've solved a bug what i do is legit like i talk to myself <laughs> like i will pretend like there's someone else in the room that needs help in what i just discovered and i would try and teach it to them and this is so powerful so even on my drive, like when I'm coming back home, I'll say, okay, what did I do today? What did I learn? And try to explain it to somebody. And when I'm trying to explain something and I start pausing or like I can't really find a good way to explain it, then I know, okay, again, like there's something I'm not too sure on. So I need to go investigate more. So yeah, um, I tutored an introduction to Java class, but I really wish I would have tutored other classes as well and um you know i say this is a regret but to be honest um sometimes you need to focus on the classes you're taking 
Okay, so this regret is gonna seem kind of weird, but I wish I like deliberately took five years to like to get this computer science degree. And what I mean by that is like there are some quarters where I piled up so many different classes at one time just because I was like, I have to finish some four years, I have to finish some four years. And of course there's other things like money involved and like do you want to take out extra loans and all that. But like if you're majoring in computer science, you know, like there's so many jobs available. So I wouldn't let taking out more loans stop you. And it's like, if you take longer, you can push in more internships, you can dive into classes more. And it's kind of like, I would have gotten more out of certain classes if I would have taken them on their own. So for example, we have an advanced data structures class. I wish I took that class, like just that class, just because, well, just that as a, like a computer science class with other like general electives, just so I can focus on that because you know, your data structures, your algorithms, you know, classes that really got you to think critically are so important. So I wish I took those as the main class. And even if that meant taking five years, I wish I would have done that. Another regret that I had, um, is that I didn't go to office hours, um, I think mainly in my first two years. Like I would pop up in office hours, but I didn't really make that, like I didn't plan that in my schedule. So basically if I had a problem, what I would do is I would ask my friends. But it turns out the people I was asking were also in the same classes as me and they were also struggling. So a lot of time I would get like not bad information, but you know, it's always great to go to the source. So I'd say for anyone that is afraid to reach out to their professors or their teachers or their tutors, really like just do it. Like for me, at least that one-on-one -on -one time, I'd get with professors and they would ask me questions and I could find like the gaps in my knowledge and then I could go back home and explore those gaps. So yeah, I would definitely say I would have went to office hours more um, in my third and fourth year, like just how you had to go to classes, I would plan office hours like they were classes and I would go to them religiously. And even sometimes if I didn't have a question, like some office hours get really huge. So I just listen to other people's questions. And some of them were, you know, those people who just ask off topic questions that are like, you know, like questions not really related to the class, but then there'd be other people would ask questions of things that I thought I knew, but the way the professor explained it in a different way was so helpful. So definitely would have attended office hours more.